Hey guys, this is Shauna Rolu. How's everybody doing today? On the last episode, we actually battled against Sharon, and I actually got two things I want to show you. First, we have ourselves a sand dial. And next, my Woobat finally evolved into Swoobat. Took her a little long enough, but luckily, we're all okay. So I'm going to have Sock up here first, because before we get to the next town, or city as you might want to call that, um, also, I've been also doing, like, uh, off, uh, off training. So, in other words, I got some of my Pokemon leveled up a little bit. So, in other words, uh, my sand dial is catching up, actually. So, that's always good. Hang on, guys, I need to take a sip of my drink. Ah. Pepsi. Okay. I had to like hold my phone and also like uh, do my recording. Oh yes, and I need that one up here. Because I also found like some of the uh, items here. And also... I also talked- I also talked to one of these guys and they actually gave me a good move called Dig. I do not believe that I actually give, um, my, um, okay, yeah, I did, I did give it to Sandal, luckily, hoo hoo hoo, oh my heavens, okay, so now that's, okay, that is freaking cool, that is like so freaking cool, I'm serious, this is the one thing I love about, about this game, because, Ever since that uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and Platinum came out, I was like thinking, are they ever going to make it change? Because I've been playing all those games so long. And apparently I was like thinking, are they not going to make some new games? Well, unfortunately they did. So, we are here in Desert Resort. So the reason I'm here is because I need to do uh, my training here. I was about to do it off screen, but it wouldn't be more fun to actually just show it to you. So anyway, I'd like to tell you something about the story in uh, when I was playing Pokemon Diamond when I was a little girl. So this is really funny. Something just happened to me when I was uh, battling against uh, uh, Crash Awake, and. I have, you son of a bitch, I have like one of my Pokemon uh, starter who is actually Empoleon. I don't remember the rest of my Pokemon, but I do know that I have Empoleon and Roserade and that's about all I remember. But something happened to me when I was actually battling against um, Crash Awake. So apparently I was battling against him and that's when I was using my Rose Raid against his Float Soul. And his Float Soul was so powerful. And the funniest thing is, I wasn't even paying attention to my game, actually. All I've been doing is actually watching one of my TV shows, and I'm just smashing A all the time. Like, no shit. I was smashing A. No, I did not mean to do that. God damn it. Ugh, stupid freaking... Okay, anyway, I was smashing A, and apparently um, I was not paying attention for what was going to happen until I finally looked down and saw that my Rosemary has been dead for, like, a few minutes. And I was still smashing A, and I'm like, oh, uh, why am I not hearing anything? And I looked down, and all of a sudden my Rosemary died. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck? What happened to my Rosemary? How did he die? I'm like, well, that's not good. So I was like figuring out what happened. So I was like, okay, go Empoleon. So I used my Empoleon against a water type Pokemon, which is that smart. Um, but what happened next is that Empoleon actually, um, even though Empoleon's actually like, um, uh, Okay, good. Okay, anyway. 
So Empoleon, uh, that's steel and water type. So then all of a sudden I look at, I look down and saw Floatzel using Ice Fang. And I'm like, Ice Fang? How did you? Then I realized that he's the one who used Ice Fang on my Roserade. Which I was like thinking, oh, what? Okay, I guess I did not know that. So luckily, uh, I don't remember if I win or lose against uh, Crash Awake. I might actually lost, but I don't remember. It was like a long time ago. I mean, my memory is just so flayed out. Uh, but yeah, I was so afraid of my life that I was like thinking, okay, um, how did my Rosemary die? But, yeah, it was just so weird. I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll just use my Empoleon, which is not a good idea, I guess. But I don't remember anything else that happens, but it's always good. So luckily, I'm okay. But holy shit, when you're playing those kind of old games and it feels like it's getting harder by the second, it just, I don't know. To me, it just feels like that the... Games are becoming newer and newer and newer, and apparently, um, apparently that these things, I did not mean to talk to you. Um, apparently those things that, um, that talk about, like, when those, uh, games get harder, but to me it just feels like it's becoming a little bit easier. I don't know why, because... In this game, like I'm playing right now, it just it just feels like it got a lot harder until it started to make uh, Pokemon. Uh, what was it? Uh, X Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, because it feels like it got a little bit easier to uh, play those kind of games. I don't know. I guess that's just me, but that's just how it happens, I guess. But, yeah, that's just how it happens. I don't know why, because it just feels like it got a lot easier by playing the uh, 3DS games. Do you guys kind of feel the same way, exactly? You can always leave me down, uh, leave me comments down below, but it just feels like it got me a little bit easier. But, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just me. I've been asking everybody else, but I don't think I remember if they got the right answer. Well, not the right answer, like the answer I'm like thinking of. No! <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, luckily it's only uh, like temporary to, you know, heal up nice and easy, I guess. Okay. Now that sock leveled up. I think it's about time for me to actually have a uh, sand dial go up here, but not in this kind of place. Not yet, exactly, because I want him to gain the level a little bit, so in other words, I'm going to have Servine up here because Sock needs a little break, so... Ah! Pokemon Rangers! <laughs> Fucking A! Ugh. Oh, sure, now I actually switched to my Servine because of this? Oh my goodness. Okay. I don't want Servine to go up here because... Darumaka. To be honest, I wasn't really paying it. a good idea. Okay, um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Damn. I understand Fire Punch is really powerful, but wow. Oh my god, 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 oh my god
God damn it! Well, at least she died the first time. Oh my God. Oh my God. At least she died for the first time before she, like after she evolves. Oh my God. That was terrifying. How many fucking Pokemon do you got? Okay, you only got two. Good, 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 good. Yes, give me a Rossberry. Or was it Raspberry? I don't know. Is there any items here? Yes, there is. Rock Tomb. Um, I guess I could teach it to Sandile. But to be honest, I don't really know. But right now, I need to go back to the doctor guy. <laughs> Twabble! Go away! Oh my goodness, I got itch on my nose. <laughs> eh. Oh my heavens. Doctor guy! Doctor guy! Doctor guy! Ah! <laughs> oh! Sigalith! I gotta say, guys, Sigalith is kind of... I don't know, how should I say this? Both kind of creepy and cool at the same time. But, you know what's really strange? The way I look at Sigalith, it's almost like a, the carbonation of the unknown. I mean, do you guys kind of feel the same way? I don't know, because it just feels like that the... Sigalith and Unknown are kind of, I don't know, relatable, but no, it's just, I don't know, I was just thinking out of ordinary, but that's just me, because the way I think about these Pokemon for some reason, like, uh, say, Love Disc, for, in for instance, you know how, um, Ololomola, right, that lives in this region? Well, if you think about it this way, should Love Disc actually have evolution of, uh, for, uh, to become a Lola Mola? I don't know, because... I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but that's how I heard about some of you people. Like, when I first saw the, um, the Alola Mola, and... When I'm, like, thinking, Oh, so that's Love Disc evolution! That's really cool! Nope. 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 That is not true. Alola Mola is not the is not the evolution of Blood Disc. They should have, but they won't do it. It's stupid. Oh boy. Yay! Wow, that super fang is so hard. Okay, no hypnosis. Please, no hypnosis. No hypnosis. No hypnosis. No, no, no. Okay, so, yeah. Um, that's what I was thinking about Alola Mola, because then I was like, oh, is, is Love Disc going to evolve into Lola Mola? Nope. It just looks like that, but they don't. I don't understand why. I don't get it. I really don't. But that's what they did. I don't know anymore. I did not mean to hit that too much. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I, I, I was like thinking the same thing, people. I don't know if you guys think of it, but that's what I was thinking of it too. Because uh, the way I think about like Alola Mola and Love Disc, yeah. But that didn't happen. <sighs> Get in there, you stupid lid. Oh, my heavens. I gotta say, guys, Dwebble is a really cute little guy. 
I've seen the episode of how Silent actually got himself a uh, Dwebble. And I thought that was super adorable. Like, I think Dwebble is an adorable thing. And the pretty cool thing about it is that Dwebble actually evolved into Crustle. Like, that is so cool. Oh! Maractus! I love a Maractus! Maractus is so cute! Like, look at its face! Look at its face! I've seen the episodes of uh, Maractus too. They're just so adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love them. I love them so much. I think Maractus is so adorable. I am not kidding. Especially when they start shaking their arms and it just sounds like they're um, they're like Maracta or um, Macarena. Or I don't know what they're called. One of those things that you shake them that has, like, either beans or uh, seeds or anything else like that in there. Like, you make music out of them. I thought it was a really adorable way. Uh. But, yeah, Maractus, so cute. So adorable. Um, I can always do the training off screen, but I'm just going to look around. Because I'm pretty sure there, oh, I'm pretty sure there's probably hidden items uh, somewhere. Who called it? <laughs> Anything else? No! Damn you, Darumaka! Damn you, Darumaka! Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Damn you, Darumaka! Aha! Hyper Potion. Which reminds me, before we get to the gym, I want to get myself a Hyper Potions. Hi! And he gets up soft sand, which I could probably get rid of. Ah! The stupid Darumaka! Those Darumakas are kind of weird looking. But they're kind of cute at the same time. Okay, so we got fresh water. Okay, see these things right here? Those are sleeping form shape Darmanitan. They look weird when they're actually, you know, sleeping like that. How do they sleep? I don't know. But in here. There are, there is probably like a both sand dial and also Yamask down here. I was thinking about getting me some Yamask, like I was thinking about getting one, but I decided not to. Uh, these things right here, these are sand tombs, I think. Oh yes, if you talk to this girl here. She has two fossils that you could probably get. A, uh, cover, co cover, I don't know. I'm thinking about getting the plume fossil, because that's where you can get yourself a flying rock-type Pokemon, which is also known as Arkin. Which means I'll have to go back to, all the way back to, uh, Nacreen City, and also, like, uh, revive him. Um, before we go anywhere else, I want to show you this. No, we're not. Yeah. So, those uh, sand quakes, or sand quakes, I think that's what they're called. I don't know. Ah! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Damn you! Oh my goodness. 
ether. Perfect. I'd like to use the ethers. Okay, so I think we're going to be stopping right here for today. So in the meantime, I'm going to get out of this place. So in the meantime, guys, we will stop here for now on. And uh, we will get to the other side of the city. So in the meantime, please make a like down below and also subscribe. And if you want to comment to me, please feel free. So in other words, uh, just be careful out there. It's pretty cold and it's pretty wet and rainy and we still have a little bit of snow over our place. So in other words, it's going to be really cold probably in tomorrow morning again. So in the, so in the meantime, guys, get dressed well. So 